Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I hope you're all doing well, inshallah ta'ala. Might look a little bit strange because usually I'm just creating shorts. But today I'm going to be creating a long form video, inshallah. And I'm also just going to be giving you guys a general story behind who I am and how I've got to where I've got to today. So if you don't know who I am, I'm a filmmaker, I'm a videographer, I'm a content creator, I'm also a content manager. And I've been in the industry now, alhamdulillah, consecutively for around 10 years, over 10 years, alhamdulillah. And I wanted today, I want to show you my journey, how I've got to where I've got to, how I've got to now also be a full-time videographer, content creator and content manager. So to start it off, I want to go all the way back to my beginning of my life. Um, the beginning of my life was very, uh, you know, creative. I was very artistry. I was very drawing. You know, there was a point in my life where I actually broke my arm. And when I broke my arm, I started a journey of drawing. So I started to draw a lot of stuff. I used to, you know, uh, in that time in hospital, I used to draw a lot of things that were in my mind and it helped me a lot, you know. And the reason why that's so important now is my creativity started from a young age and I always wanted to be somebody that pictured things in my head and to make it happen. And now, alhamdulillah, that actually helps me with my work I do today. So whenever I think of something creative and I come up with an idea, it's usually something deep within my mind that I've wanted to now portray with my work. So that's where it all began. It started with my creativity as a young boy in hospital with a broken arm. And so the journey with cameras and videography started in school. So in school, I did uh, radio and film. And to be honest, in school, I wasn't very good at school. I never really did a really great job. I didn't get great GCSEs or you know results. But the one thing I was really good at was media and sports. And I progressed after, after school. I took a little bit of a time to find out what I really wanted to do. Um, and after kind of re kind of defining myself, I found a, a camera in my dad's uh, drawer and I used it to create videos for my friends in my town and, and other cities surrounding where I used to live in Doncaster. And I used to make videos for them. And when I started making these videos for them, I started really finding a passion for media and filming and graphic design and, and all of that kind of stuff. So it progressed from there. I went from uh, going in from school, not really knowing what to do, found a camera from my dad and I started filming stuff. And then there was a point in my life where I was put in a youth offenders institute. And there's nothing I want to glorify and, and make myself look like I'm anything special. But when I was young, I used to get into a little bit of trouble with, with the police and, and, and instances and, in, and situations that I shouldn't have been getting into. So as I progressed and I went into this Youth Offenders Institute, there was a lady in there and I explained to her, you know, obviously within the Youth Offenders Institute, you have to meet somebody on a weekly basis and then it changes and as you progress through it. Um, and the lady in there, she really helped me define what I wanted to do in life. She said to me, you know, what are you doing currently? What are you doing right now that you love doing? I said, I love doing football, I love doing sports. And, you know, there's one thing I started doing recently, which is filming like videos for my friends. And then she said to me, well, why don't you progress through college? Because I was, I was in college at the time, but I was in level one mechanics. Who does mechanics as a videographer? No. Um, so she said, why don't you just progress that through that in, in, in college and then maybe go to university. If anyone was to ever see me and see, say to myself, you're going to be the person that's going to go to university, you'd never think so. You'd be like, this guy's just, you know, you're going to do X, Y, Z, you know? So I said, you know what, let me give it a try. And I went into level two college. I had to redo all my maths, my English, everything like that. You know, I didn't do well in school. And I did, I got through level two media and I did level three media. I ended up in university. But before that, alhamdulillah, I accepted Islam in my last year and a half in college. Um, and that actually helped me with my work. Because when I was in college, I used to make videos in college. This table's really disgusting, by the way, so forgive me. When I used to make videos in college, in my last year, it was all based around the deen and based around being a Muslim. And you know, I really wanted to portray that and show that Muslims are good people. And subhanAllah, that's, that really helped me further on down the line, as I'm going to explain. And my first year and my couple, first couple of years as a Muslim was very difficult. It was hard to change. And there's so many things that were happening in my life. And then when I moved to university, that was a big changing point. Because when I moved away from my area, my, my facilities and the, the things I usually, usually get, used to get up to, I moved to a completely new city, which was London. And I studied it in the University of Greenwich. I studied digital film production. So from there, I went into, you know, meeting a load of, you know, non-Muslims, but I also met a lot of Muslims because I joined the Islamic Society. And in the Islamic Society, I remember in my first week where, where I was in Freshers' Week, I came up to the guy and I said, you know what? You guys need any, anyone that does videos. You know, I'm a guy that does videos. So let me do some videos for you guys, right? So I went in there and I done it for them. And they loved it. They loved my work I did. I did some posters. It wasn't great. I look back at it and I, I look at it and I think, I'm, I, it will always happen. 
when you go through a media journey, but back in those days, we didn't have great cameras and stuff like that. Whereas now you can, you have a lot of access to easy cameras and, you know, good quality, etc. So as I went through it, I went to university uh, and I went through, you know, the ISOG and I got to, to the last year of university. And in that time, in my last year, I started as an apprentice at Iman Channel. So Iman Channel is an Islamic television channel. They do live shows, they do all that kind of stuff, light upon light. They do a lot of filming, they do production, they create shows. And I started at Iman Channel when they were actually quite fresh. So maybe about a year and a half, year, maybe a year and a half old. Um, Handel, I graduated uh, in university and I carried on after university from my apprenticeship into being now a full-time production member. So I used to create videos, I used to do the live shows, I used to do uh, the live events, I used to do all sorts. And that really was a shaping point for me in my media journey because I met somebody there who was experienced. His name was Abu Bakr Patterson. May Allah bless you, bro. I love you for Allah's sake. Uh, he helped me to the point, you know how you have your Islamic marabbis who teach you and guide you and help you in your religion? This was more like my media marabbi, somebody who helped me and guided me on my media journey, helped me find my purpose. And to the point of even how I organize my files, to this day, I still organize my files the same. To this day, I still speak to my clients and my, my people I'm in, that are in front of me the same. And he really left a footprint and a blueprint for me to now go on to him to my work. So I worked at Iman Channel for around a year and a half um, full time, um, of which then I really took off, you know, and, and outside of there, it allowed me to use the skills I've learned. I bought my own camera. I started investing in myself. I started creating content for smaller businesses. So after my time at Iman Channel, uh, after a year and a half, COVID hit, that is where I started my journey even further. I started a new job, which was at IMG Media right at the end of 2019. And I also, which was full time, which is about streaming and, and, and how to put streams online and et cetera, et cetera. And at the side of that, and the great thing about this job is it allowed me to pursue my jobs outside of it. So I created content for businesses, startup businesses, and I started investing in myself with my equipment, with my time and much more. And on the side of being at IMG Media, the great thing about this job is it allowed me to make my own content for startup businesses and for other people outside of it. And it helped me and it allowed me to grow as a person and as a person in media and filmmaking, right? So I made the film in 2021 with the Sunna guy. We started a film called The Two Sides. And this was also a big shaping point for me because we spent so much time on this film. I learned a lot of new kind of things about myself, new different kind of camera tricks. And we made a film and we put it in the cinemas. How extraordinary is that? We put a Muslim, UK based Muslim film in the cinemas and we sold it out in multiple different locations. This is insane. Um, and this was a shaping point for me. And this was early in COVID, the COVID days. Um, so from there, I continued into making content for businesses, working at IMG, all the way up until where I am now. Now, I'm at a point where I genuinely believe I need to be able to give my skills back. Just how I did when I was working at Iman Channel, Abu Bakr, when he was helping me, I believe the skills I have now should be shared with the people. And that's what I'm going to be doing on this YouTube channel. I've been doing it through some consultations. I've been doing it through some of my short form content. But I really want to take you on some of the journeys I do, some of the filming I do, some of the content I make, some of the managing things I do, some of the travels I do. And I want to bring you all along with me so you can learn. Now, that's the purpose of this YouTube channel. I don't want it to just be something that's baseless and there's no point behind it. So if I'm not uploading, it's not because I don't want to post. It's because I want to give you guys value. So hopefully you guys can benefit from what I just showed you and what I talked to you. Um, there's so many things you can take away from it. There's things like resilience, where when I was younger, I was trying my best and making videos here and where I can. You know, and that's what you should be doing if you're a startup filmmaker. You should be making videos here and where you can, learn up your skills, better your skills, so you can get to a point now when you're charging people, you can charge more. And when you're getting to these clients where they're wanting X, Y, and Z, you're able to do it because you built those skills up through your time and through your efforts. And where you're charging good money for your videos, this is a point now where you should be evolving your skills even more and expanding, building a team building a department, building a production company or agency where you can now move forward and make it sustainable. Because just being a videographer and being a filmmaker, it's not sustainable on your own. You have to try and find a team and to, to progress and to develop from there. So what I'd say is now subscribe to the YouTube channel, like this video, comment, share it with all your families and friends, because I want you guys to be a part of this team, a part of my family. And inshallah, you'll see my progression and hopefully I can help you with your progression. And we'll see you on the next one. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.